Welcome to the marketing session about administration. Administration is one of these four tools within the marketing mix instrument of distribution. Today, I would like to focus on two factors within the administration tool. The first one is the customer access and the second one is a payment. Let's begin with the customer access. What is it? We have here two levels. The first level is how can the customer first find us, the second reach us, our company, our restaurant, and the third level is here how can he enter the office, the shop, the restaurant. On the other hand side we have another level which is saying how can we reach customers, especially if they do not enter our shop, if we have to deliver them. This is the second dimension of uh, customer access. Coming back to how can the customer find us, this is the most important thing. Remember, in one of these communication videos, uh, I said that you have to register in Google My Business, because the customer or a potential customer can search for this product or service on his smartphone and he will find you on Google Maps, for example. But this is not enough. More important, in my opinion, is that you have in front of your shop, in front of your restaurant, in front of your company, some small billboards on the wall, on the stand, or where else, as well as signs, signs saying here is this shop, here is this company. I often have to go to companies and sometimes you have to look where are they. You don't find them because there are no signs saying where the entrance is, where the company is. Therefore, it's very cheap to produce these signs by yourself. But use signs saying where you are that the customer has an easy access to your company, to your shop, to your family business company. This is what, in my opinion, is very important in the point of view of customer access. The customer has to find you, has to reach you, has to enter your shop. The other dimension I said is how do we find the customer? It is very important if we have already a, a contact, a, a communication with a customer here, and he says, yes, I want to buy it. And he decided to buy it. And you have to bring it to him. Now the distribution, you have to transport him these goods to provide him the service or what else. Uh, you have to know who is the customer and where is the customer situated. Therefore, never forget to ask name and address. It's very often the case that people are too shy to ask for name and address or that they forget it. Always ask in order to get customer access, if you have to transport or bring the, the products to customer site or his house. The second point of view today is payment. How can the customer pay your product or your service? It's a very important uh, aspect within the distribution because you want to get the money and of course you want to make it for the customer as convenient as possible because he shall have a good relationship with you and a very good rem uh, memory when he thinks this company is good, it's easy to buy there and easy to pay there. Uh, let's take one example. Let's assume that we are in a restaurant. The restaurant told us in the communication, excellent food, best service and atmosphere is excellent. Okay, food was excellent, was really good. Atmosphere is good in the restaurant, I like this restaurant. And now I call this waiter, this guy here, I call him, I want to pay. Uh, he didn't see me or I don't know why he didn't see me. I tried again, hey, can I pay please? I want to pay the bill. I, I, maybe he's ignoring me. I don't know why. It's not a second time. I tried again. 
uh, please, I want to buy, I want to pay. I was louder. Then he said, coming soon. I'm still waiting. Three times he said, coming soon, still waiting. What's now in my emotion? Do you think I'm happy? No. I'm not very happy about that because until now everything what the promise of this communication was, was good, was excellent. Food was good, food stuff was excellent and also the atmosphere of the restaurant. But and also when he brought it uh, to us, to the, the table, the food and the drinks was good. But now part of the service, the administration, the payment is not that what I expected. I am a little bit disappointed. Okay, after 20 minutes he's coming and I am not in that good mood, wait such a long time. I pay him and I have only a big banknote. And what is he saying? The waiter says, I'm sorry sir, I don't have this change. You have to go first outside the bank, there is a bank on the street and please bring smaller money with you. Oh, you can imagine. I am not very happy about that or very upset because this is not very customer oriented treatment. What I expected from a restaurant with a promise, we have an excellent service and I am very disappointed. And what I do, I did it, I got the smaller change, I paid, there was not a big tip for him of course and I left the restaurant and I will never go in this restaurant again and I will just tell at least to seven friends that I had this negative experience in this restaurant regarding the payment and the service. And this is a bad restaurant in my opinion. I will not recommend it. Okay, you see in this example what administration has an impact on the entire marketing mix model of this restaurant. It has an impact on the corporate image where we were speaking in public relation about it because only this guy destroyed the this corporate image of the restaurant the rest of the restaurant probably works excellent but he destroyed it and they lost me as a customer of course and therefore first remember stuff is the key factor for your business success. You have to train them and you skill them. And this is very important in the administration where you work with people. Be customer oriented. Make it as easy as possible and comfortable as possible for your customers to pay. And I often see this in, the, in many companies and for me this is a business sin if you do this not in a very customer oriented way. Let's come to a second example. You remember my apple farmer. This apple farmer, he is a very busy man. He's working all the time in the garden the, for the apple trees. And he has not that much time to sit and wait in a shop until customers coming by, families coming and buying apples. Therefore, he has to think about a very clever system, a very smart system. He has a table and he has apples and other apple products from his house, from his company, from his family company. He has apples, apple juice and also dried apples, for example. And he sells it and he has the prices are communicated. There is a sign saying apple price per kilogram per bag is like this and the apple juice and so on. He has the price communicated. And how can the customer pay the apple? They have a self-service system. People can take what they need and they pay what it costs. And he has on the table there is this money box with a slot and people throw in the money. And he told me that within the last, let's say five years, maybe one or two times, he has, he assumes that the money was not enough or it was no money paying uh, from one customer. But normally, let's say more than 99% of the customers, they are honest and pay the real 
amount. That's a very smart system, no work, and he has the money. And believe me, he even has no metal chain to fix the money box. It's not necessary. People do not steal the money box and not steal the apples or what else. It's not worth to make a crime for this amount of money or this amount of apples. And what I wanted to show with this example of, of the apple farmer is uh, that you have to be creative. Take your 1.5 kilograms of brain and be creative and be smart. And therefore, he said, I want to have a very simple and a very smart, a very, very uh, convenient access and payment possibility for the customers. And we call it the, the KISS system. KISS is for keep it simple and smart. And this farmer did it. And please speak with your mentees about the KISS. Keep it simple and smart system. It should be easy, not high sophisticated. It should be easy access and the customer will appreciate it if it's very easy access and easy, uh, easy payment possibilities. Okay, this was only to show how administration as a very small part, let's say payment, can influence the satisfaction of customers if they get your product or your service. The waiter this was destroyed it. Even this was excellent and this was excellent, but only this small tool which was not adjusted in the right way because he was not really customer oriented in the mindset and he was probably not skilled and motivated. He destroyed with this small tool the entire satisfaction uh, based on this marketing mix model. And the second was only to show you once again how it is important in marketing to be creative, to think outside the box compared to your competition. Do something else, uh, some other way, go other ways and try it. And you see this apple farmer can earn money without doing a lot of work uh, in, in, in sales because he is doing his focus on his own, of his main major job, core working. I hope you will share this also with your mentees and wish you and your mentees in the family business companies. Uh, business success and Wish you all the best. Goodbye.